expecting a father. You sure? Once we're done with that, then... All right. Then we got a lot to do. Since you are here to bolster Kunda's defense, I will hurry to the mercenary camp and delay their assault however I can. I imagine that the mercenaries have got two goals in this whole thing. Kill me and kill the administrator. The rest of the settlers won't have courage to... The administrator's locked up in her office tight, which means that the mercs have to go through us, and it isn't gonna be easy. I suspect we're gonna have to f They've got three entrances they're gonna try and break in. Here's the front door, the security door on the side, and the garage door in back. We got three squads of militia. We can assign people to the front, back, or inside. Backside has to guard two entrances. The front will have to fight more people, and the inside will have to deal with any of the breakthrough. So... Where do you think the first squad should be deployed? First squad is most experienced. The only squad that could go blaster to blaster against the mercs. Second squad has a lot of passion, but no experience. Third squad is new and not trained too well, and they may break in combat. They need a good leader to make them effective. So, where do you think the first squad should be deployed? The battles that had the least dying were always led by Jedi. I'm gonna go with what you think. Where do you want the second squad? Alright, where do you want the third squad, the new recruits? Fine by me. The last question is, where do you want to go? Either the front or the back. I'll take whichever one you don't. That way both sides have leadership. The back. I suppose that there is more ground to cover with the two entrances. All right. I'll take the front. Once the fighting starts, you gotta stay in your area. We both have to guard our half of the battlefield. Come over to me and the mercs will just charge straight into Kunda. Thanks to you, they're gonna have a tougher job. That's about it. Now we just need to dig in and wait for the mercs to come. Well, I'll tell them what's there to do. I'm not... All right, I'll assemble the men. I hope you can speak good. You're much better with words than me. Let's get ready for the mercenaries. If we fall here, all the damn twin falls with us. Tell me what you see, soldier. They're mobilizing the militia. Looks like a lot of activity down there. They've been warned. It won't be of any use. The plan doesn't change. Captains, prepare your men. Their leader, Administrator Tarina, must not survive the battle. Everything else is secondary to that objective.
we've lost too many soldiers. Fall back inside. Sorry I was held up, but it looks like I've arrived in time to pull you out of your predicament. Kill them all. for your aid. You can be sure that Dantooine will not forget how the Jedi protected us from this place. We are a humble community, and this conflict has greatly diminished our resources. I hope this reward will be sufficient. I am humbled by your generosity. I will put this to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much work to do. Dantooine will be slow to rebuild, but I am confident now that we will one day achieve prosperity. Kunda is safe in no small part due to you. I feel certain that the Administrator wouldn't have made it without your assistance. I may have misjudged you. In any case, I am free to talk about whatever you wish. There are a few of us left, but I do not even know if the others still live. We may be the last. We have been forced to divide our forces and retreat to places which will be difficult for our enemies to detect and attack. We have chosen to hide our presences from each other, so that the discovery of one will not endanger the others. We cannot, and we have resolved not to until we have found where the Sith are striking from. But even as our numbers thin, there is still no trace of them. We had hoped to outmaneuver them, 
By letting them believe themselves victorious, we thought they would become bold and step from the shadows. Then, all of us who remained vowed to meet here on Dantooine. From here, we can plan a course of action and carry the battle to them. But so far, they remain in hiding, and Jedi continue to vanish and die. You have more questions for me? Because you defied the Council and followed Revan to war. And from that war came another. Do you know how many worlds were destroyed in those wars? Dantooine, Telos, Sirocco? Do you see now why we counseled caution instead of action? You were the only one to come back and face judgment. But that was because you had lost your connection to the Force. Another casualty of war. No doubt you still blame us for your exile. I had hoped your isolation would give you time to reflect on what had happened, what you had done. But I see it as not. You have more questions for me? You have seen the end of your trial. Perhaps you would like to explain how you came to this knowledge. That was intended only for the Jedi Council. If what remains of the Council chooses to tell you, then I will abide by their decision and its consequences. Are you listening? I can't tell you more. The knowledge would not help you anyway. You have more questions for me? Have they? I've seen no evidence of them upon Dantooine. Only murderers and raiders. Why would they attack you? There are no Jedi. You cannot feel the Force. Perhaps it is Dantooine, but I do not feel such from you. I feel nothing but what I felt in the Council Judgment Chamber on Coruscant so long ago. Still, you and your connections were often a subject of debate in the Council. It is possible that returning to known space, journeying with others, has caused the Force to stir within you again. Though it seems unlikely the Sith would bother with you. For some reason, I believe you. Still, I am curious as to how they would know to find you. Your trial was not public knowledge. Regardless, these Sith have struck, and you survived. This is more knowledge than I had before. And that means the Jedi may gather. If you can find others, or find some trace of the Sith threat, then we shall gather here on Dantooine. And from there, we may decide what can be done. You have more questions for me? I suppose there is something I should show you. It will keep you alive long enough to prove useful. I'm only going to demonstrate this once. This is the Sheen form, a defensive stance that's good when you're outnumbered, which is most of the time. This form will increase your ability to deflect blaster fire, and it increases the odds of dealing critical strikes against your attackers. <laughs> I don't know how you learned that so quickly. Still, your form is sloppy. Keep practicing to tighten it up and you'll be fine.
Yes. That Chris that, that is that. That droid just call you a Jedi? You should keep your identity secret for the time being. Try to con- May I be a further- No mistake about it. Well, I suppose- Sorry for me. Why? 
You're Saber. You've destroyed it. I yield, Master. It is as I heard through the Force. My life for yours. You must. The alternative is only another death. And I would rather die by your hands. Boop. 
I have nothing to offer you. Your strength is superior. It is as I felt. Now I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. Yeah, they're a pretty secretive race. I heard that some of their kind become Jedi, but a Sith? That's... well, that's a new one. I'm not sure how you'd go about killing one. It'd be tricky. Just mentioning it, she looks like she's suffered enough wounds already, even after the beating you gave her. Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. You spared her. I did not believe you would. I am more concerned about what she will do when she recovers. Just be careful. Not everyone can be saved. befriended the seer. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the Force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. The Sith carry the battle to you, and you spare them. And as we travel, the empty places of this ship are filled. I hope your thoughts in this matter are clear. If you take her on as a servant, know that the Sith meet their end at the hands of their apprentices. It is not something I would wish to happen to you. This one you have saved has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. Perhaps I am not convinced. Did he? And what do you make of that? You are right to trust your instincts. Something is wrong. It is only a matter of discovering what and why. If your instincts lead you to an answer, seek me out. Perhaps we will discuss more. Ask. That crystal is this. She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. Feel this ship around you. 
the welding of the droid as it goes about its work. Now stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now listen deeper past her breathing and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear, for in fear lies death and You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only, but it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not. Because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. General, need something? Sorry, guess I can't get my head out of the past. I moved around for a couple years. Working as a starship mechanic got me from place to place. I wasn't ready to settle down after the war. Then you understand my restlessness. Though the war had ended, I couldn't find peace in anything. As long as I kept moving, I didn't have to think about what happened. Know what I mean? I'm sure you do. I decided I'd do something constructive. I wanted to make up for the things I'd done in the war. I wanted to design planetary shields, but there weren't many systems with the credits to spare. There was more that needed to be rebuilt than protected. I found out that Telos was going to be the flagship project for the Republic, and it sounded like something good. I saw Telos before the Sith raised it. He deserved a better fate. But Zerka ruined everything. I thought I could force Zerka out on my own, but I guess I can't fix everything myself. It's good to be working with you again, General. Something else I can help you with? That old thing? I built him when I was a kid. Been following me around for years now, despite what I've done to try and chase him off. Hey, just kidding. I'm happy to have you around. He helps me out with repairs. I outfitted him with a cutting laser and some other tools for delicate modifications. He's also good for singeing the pants of annoying techs. I've been thinking about doing some other work on him, but I barely have time. Too busy fixing up the ship. Something else I can help you with? Let me see what you have. That's everything. Now all you need is a little quiet time with the workbench.
Oh, <laughs> 